Hello there, it's Babs here from Yarn People and today I'm going to be taking you through a tutorial to show you how to create a simple um, crochet star. It's a five pointed star which could be used for Christmas decorations, it could be used for any kind of decoration that requires a star for witches or wizards, um, Hogwarts tomfoolery, that kind of thing and um, whilst these stars tend to have a little bit of a curl on the uh, on the ends you can either block those out um, depending on if you want to use them as a decoration you can actually um, stiffen them with starch uh, which will mean they will hold their shape if you want them to keep their curl or you can indeed twist the points so they have more of a starfish look uh, or indeed you can actually sew them back to back which will take out that um, that curl and it will give them a much stronger appearance without the need for any stiffening or starch and then you can just use them as you particularly wish to. So this is a very quick quick tutorial um, and I just want to point out the difference between these two stars. This one was created with a magic circle and the hole in the center, uh, this, this hole here, um, that's as small as I can get it cinching in with the magic circle method um, purely because of the number of stitches that we have going around this central hole. This is um, exactly the same pattern but rather than being made with a magic loop it is made using a simple chain four which is then joined together so you can't cinch that in any tighter but there's not too much of a difference between the two. Um, so if you prefer to use magic loop to begin with I'll show you how to start off with magic loop and then I'll put that to one side because the rest of the um, rest of the process is the same and then I will take that apart and start again using the chain four method which will give you just a slightly larger hole in the center there um, it's just down to your personal preference but you can make the star either way um, and I will just show you at the beginning how to do each also for those who use UK and US terminology I will start out with my very first star point I will use both terms then I'll move on to the second star point will just be US and the third star point will just be UK um, and by then I've only got a couple more to make up before I finish off the star itself so hopefully that will make things nice and clear for you and if that's the case let's get started so the first thing I'm going to do is just create a magic loop so uh, for this I simply wrap the yarn around cross over once and this is where the magic part comes in if I've left enough space I put my new, my hook underneath that first wrap then the working end I bring under and then I form a first loop there and then if you look you can undo and then tighten you just pull to cinch in or tighten up your um, your stitches so I will just do a couple and show you so if I was to create a treble we'll go for the UK terms for now um, and then I'll, I'll just go through and create another couple so that I've got something to do tighten up that loop against and then one more and then you can see the magic of this centered circle cast on working um, and then you just pull this tight and that will give you a tight loop but it's starting to curl around as you can see those stitches starting to curl and that the, the hole closes up to nothing um, the reason this hasn't closed to nothing is because there are 15 stitches worked around the center which is why you've got that hole still sitting there um, and that is the only difference between the instructions so that's how you start off with a magic loop if you were curious and I shall now undo that it's very easy to undo you simply just pull and it all unravels beautifully um, so what I'm going to do is a standard slip knot if you need a video that shows you how to do the slip knot in more detail I have one of those I'm going to now chain four one two three four and we're going to join this last into the first with slip stitch we'll slip that through and bring that through and that has curved everything around into a circle and what we'll do is chain two and start working on our trebles or UK terms or US terms that would be doubles so you pull through so you've got three loops over your hook pull through 
through pull through so I'll do that more slowly so yarn over pull the loop through so you've got three yarn over pull through the first two yarn over pull through the first two that stitch in the US is known as a double and in the UK it is known as a treble um, there are very similar names for slightly different stitches which are in effect one extra yarn over uh, apart so the uh, the stitches are slightly larger in terminology um, in the UK than they are in the States. The States start with a single and in the UK we start with a double um, and so I'm not quite sure why that is the case but that is the difference between the US and the UK terms um, which can cause all sorts of, of problems if you think that you're using one set of terms when in reality you're using the other one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen I want fifteen oops fifteen stitches at the end of this this set of trebles so I'll just double check that so our first chain two counts as one so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen one more to go and you can see how packed this particular um, loop has become there are so many stitches so many um, stitches formed around that chain which is why the magic cast on doesn't tend to to cinch in so tightly so we're going to slip stitch into the top of the turning chain and now we're going to start working on our points we're going to make one more slip stitch and then we're going to chain four one two three four and then we're going to make a single crochet if we're talking us terms or a double crochet uk terms in the second chain from the hook so we slip through and then that's single or double created we're going to yarn over and do a half double in the US or a half treble in the UK in the next stitch so yarn over pull the yarn through yarn over and for a half treble or a half double you pull it through all three in one go and then we're going to do a Full double or a full treble and you yarn over pull the yarn through yarn over again pull through the first two loops yarn over pull through the second two loops and that gives you a graded growth in the length of your crochet work we're going to skip the next stitch and then we're going to slip stitch into place to give us our first point on our star um, or it could be a sunbeam depending upon what your applique is is for so we'll do that again we're going to slip one chain four one two three four and us only terms this time around we're going to work into the second stitch from the hook and create a single crochet so we're going to yarn over and create a half double crochet pull that through all three loops and then we're going to yarn over and do a full double crochet uh, through the first two yarn over through the second two so skip a stitch slip stitch it into place so that that is secure slip stitch again and then we're on to working UK terms so we're going to chain four one two three four and we're going to work a double crochet in the second chain from the hook so we just pull through both of those two loops we're going to yarn over and work a half treble and that goes through all three loops and we're going to yarn over and do a full treble and so we pull through the first two loops and then we pull through the second two loops and then we're going to secure that with a slip stitch work another slip stitch and I shall very quickly make the last two um, points for the star and 
And once this one is finished, I can show you how to just finish up, finish off, end, bind off, um, however you want to call it, this, this star. And it doesn't have to be too complicated. You, I, I'm always surprised at how complex some people make this binding off process. Um, when in reality, it's not like knitting where you have to work your way through lots and lots and lots of stitches potentially to, to bind off a project. With crochet, you're only ever one stitch away from binding off. Um, the rest of the star is, is complete. I've got one stitch left. I'm simply going to skip a stitch and then slip stitch this into place. And as I say, you're always one stitch away from ending. So for me to bind off, all I need to do is snip the yarn and pull through. And, and that is a now secure and finished star. It's not gonna fall apart. I'd have to unpick that knot that's just been created. Now, again, as I said earlier, you can at this point either block your stars so that they don't have these, these curling points, or if you were to actually place them back to back, by the time you have either with a crochet hook um, slip stitched all the way around or with a needle, um, with a tapestry needle gone through and sewn those, those stitches together, your star then becomes straight because the two opposing curls straighten each other out and you get a nice puffy star which you can then use as an embellishment for whatever your heart desires. And that is how you make a crochet star. It's nice and simple and I hope that that's been useful for you. If it has, please give the video a thumbs up, please like, share, subscribe, all of that kind of stuff. We have regular videos and tutorials coming out with a weekly vlog uh, where I talk about my whips work in progress and uh, the Yarn People magazine, um, some of the behind the scenes things and what's coming up with that. So if you're interested in yarn, then this is the channel for you. We also have a load of um, sewing tutorials as well, which are still available. We've got lots of sewing playlists, so check those out and um, hopefully I'll see you again. Or you may see us again, but I'll be talking to you again. So I will see you soon. Bye for now.